this is Vasavi. I am going to explain to you the trick to remember the trigonometric values of basic angles at least. Okay. Most of us wholly rely on the calculators for such calculations but it is good to learn basic trigonometric values right for these angles like 0, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. So it is very simple to remember. All you need to know is just learn the sine value by heart and with that we can complete the whole table. So in this picture I have given you the trigonometric table. Here on one side I have listed out the ratios and the other side I have listed out the basic angles 0 to 90. And we all know that the value of sine varies from 0 to 1, okay, in between the degree measure 0 to 90 degrees, okay. So I just filled in that. The sign is going to be, the values of sign is going to be between 0 and 1. In between, you have 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. So the value of sign is half in 30 degree and at 45 it is 1 over root 2 and some of us also write it as root 2 over 2 by rationalizing the root square root of 2 in the denominator okay so if you are rationalizing it then you may get root 2 over 2 and sine 60 degree is root 3 over Okay, just memorize this alone and for the cos, we are going to just write, we know it is a co-function, co cos is a co-function, right? So, just write the, these values in reverse order, okay? So, it is going to be 1 over here, root 3 over 2 at this point, okay, at, two, at 30 degree, then at 45 it is the same either 1 by root 2 or it is root 2 over 2 okay then here this one is 1 over 2 and finally it is 0 so all I have done is I just remem remembered I memorized the sign values and now for cause I am just writing it in the reverse order first I wrote the 1 then this root 3 over 2 and then this one and then half and again at the last it is 0. Okay. So the reverse of sine would give you the cos values. Got it. Next for tan we always know tan is nothing but sine over cos. Right. Tan is equal to sine over cos. So just Divide the sine value by the cos value to get the tan. Okay. So sine is 0. Here I am just dividing sine by cos for tan. Sine over cos. So sine is 0 over 1. So that means it is 0. Right. So tan 0 degree is 0. Now here it is 1 over 2. That is the value of sine divided by root 3 over 2. So this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. And so you get 1 over root 2 here. Just divide the value of sine by the value of cos. Here it is 1 over root 2 divided by 1 over root 2. Right? Sine is 1 over root 2. And the cos is also 1 over root 2. So that is 1 pole. For uh, tan 60, I put the sine value on top. So that's root 3 over 2 divided by the whole thing divided by half cos value. So that is 1 over 2. So this 2 and 2 would get cancelled. And you are left with root 3 over 1 which is root 3. Got it. And for 90, it is 1 over 0. So anything over 0 is undetermined. So that would be an infinite value. That's infinity. So we are done with sine, cos and tan. 
Now, the other three ratios are very easy. You know cosecant is 1 over sine, right? Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So I'm just going to flip the sine value. So that is 1 over 0. I'm just writing the reciprocal of sine. So that's 1 over 0. So that is again an infinity, right? It is undetermined because you have 0 as your denominator. And this half, the sine value half, I'm writing it upside down. So that's 2 over 1, which is 2. And your cosecant is reciprocal of sine. So I just put this as root 2 over 1. So that would give you root 2 in 60. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Put the reciprocal. So that's 2 over root 3. Okay. And then the reciprocal of 1 is 1 over 1. So that's again a 1. Is that clear? Now the secant is the reciprocal of cos. So just flip cos and write. So that is 1 over 1. For 0 degree it is 1. Cos is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1 here. Now cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So flip, put that upside down. So that is 2 over root 3. Then your 45. Cos 45 is 1 over root 2. So that would be root 2 over 1. Okay. So that's the root 2 again. Now your uh, cos 60 is half. When you flip that it is 2 over 1. So the value is 2 here. And flip your 90 degree. Cos 90 is 0. So anyway, when you flip it is 1 over 0. So that's an infinity. Okay. Now the cot. Cot is 1 over tan. Just write the reciprocal of tan here. You have tan 0 is 0, right? 1 over 0, right? When you write the reciprocal, it is 1 over the 0, which is infinity. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So when you write the reciprocal, it is root 3 over 1, which is root 3. For tan 45 is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1 again. So cot 45 is also 1. Then tan 60 is root 3. So when you write the reciprocal of it, it would be 1 over 1 over root 3, right? So I write that again here, 1 over root 3. And finally, here your tan is 1 over 0. Write the reciprocal. So that's 0 over 1. So that is 0. So if you just know the sine value, you can write the cos and then the tan. Then just write the, for the other three, write the reciprocal of sine, cos and tan. You would get the next three ratios also. So by this, you can fill in the trigonometric tables with basic angles from 0 to 90 degrees. Okay. Now, few of us may find hard to memorize even this. I asked you to memorize the sine values, right? So if you couldn't memorize the sine value, I'll give you one more trick to remember that. Just take your uh, palm, okay, in your hand. The fingers, I would just list like this. The thumb is 0 degrees. Your index finger is 30 degrees, okay? And the middle finger is 45 degrees. Then you have your ring finger as 60 degrees. And here you have 90 degrees. Okay, so we have got all basic angles now. Just imagine if you need to find out your sine 30. Okay, see with this trick you can find both the sine and cos. Always the thumb side, okay, the thumb side represents the sine value okay represents the sine value and the other side represents the cos okay okay now listen if you need to know 30 degrees of sine and cos just leave this finger okay 
the, th the index finger that shows 30 degree right just leave that and see on the thumb side how much how many numbers you have right so that is one okay and this side you have three fingers right one finger and three fingers find the square root of these and divide them by two you get the value okay so what happens this becomes one by two okay this is for 30 degrees uh, this side this fine side you get one over two and the cos side you get root three over two see if you can check you will know that sine 30 is half and cos 30 is root 3. Now let's take 45 degrees. Okay. So 45 degrees. This time you're going to fold this middle finger. Forget the middle finger. So on the either side you will have two. Right. Two fingers this side and two fingers that side. So this side you have two fingers. And this side also you have two fingers. Now you find the square root of that finger. Okay. So that's square root of 2 and then divide both by 2. So you get 45 degree values. Okay. See this is for this. For sine. Now I'm doing for cos. So you get root 2 over 2. See. You can check the table. You have sine 45 is root 2 over 2. And cos 45 is also root 2 over 2. Okay. Now for the 60 degree. 60 degrees is your ring finger. Leave the ring finger on either side. You have cos side. You have one finger. And the thumb side you have three fingers. Right? Find the square root of this. And divide by two. Square root of this and divide by two. You get half. Cos 60 is half. See? And cos sine 60 is root 3. You can find it here. Sine 60 is root 3. Okay. Likewise you can do for 0. You are going to fold your uh, thumb finger. So this side. On the thumb side you have 0 fingers. And on the cos, cos sign you have 4 fingers. So square root of 4 divided by 2. Here 0. It is 0. So whether you find square root and divide by 2 you are going to get 0 only. So this side it would be 2 over 2 which is 1. Okay. 1 whole. So cos, cos uh, 0 degree is 1. And sine 0 degree is 0. Okay. And one more you have the 90 degree. I would put that here. The 90 degree. When it is 90 degree you are going to fold this little finger. So you in the cos side you will have zero fingers and on sign on the thumb side you'll have four fingers. So on the thumb side you have four fingers. Find the square root of that and divide by two. So that's two over two, which is one. Okay. So your sign 90 is one and cos this side. On the cos side, you have zero fingers. So the square root of 0 divided by 2 is also 0. So your cos 90 is 0. I hope this video would help you to remember the trigonometric values for these basic angles. Take care. Bye.